Hi, so here's the second question from the Oxford Math Submissions Test from 2018. Uh, it says the function y equals e to the kx satisfies this equation. Uh, for how many values of k is effectively the question? We've got a lot of options here. So it looks a little bit strange at first, but then you think, okay, the function y equals uh, e to the kx, actually the derivatives uh, are very nice, so dy by dx is just uh, k e to the k times x, applying the chain rule, which you um, uh, will know for this paper. Uh, I think it didn't used to be in the math syllabus, but it has been for the last year or so, so they're expecting people, uh, schools to teach that slightly earlier on now. Um, and d2y by dx squared is equal to uh, k squared e to the k times x, again using the chain rule. So actually every one of these things has an e to the kx into it, which is going to be nice. So if I look at this uh, whole equation here, um, I've effectively got every term with e to the kx, but I'll write, I'll write them all out. You might not do this if you're actually doing the paper, but I've got k squared e to the kx for d2 y by dx squared, plus dy by dx, which is k e to the kx, uh, and then in the second term here, dy by dx is uh, k e to the kx minus just e to the kx. And I want to say that that's equal to y times dy by dx. So that's e to the kx uh, times uh, dy by dx, which is k e to the kx. So what we see immediately here is that there's e to the kx squared on both sides, right? there's an e to the kx factor in this bracket and an e to the kx factor in this bracket, so they'll cancel out with the two e to the kx's on the other side. So actually the equation we're looking at is just uh, k squared plus k multiplied by k minus 1 from these two brackets is equal to k, and then if we multiply uh, this um, out, well, actually, do I want to multiply it out? Yeah, you could just multiply it all out and then try and refactorize it. Uh, perhaps we can be slightly tricky here and just start by factorizing it. I've got k, k plus 1, k minus 1 equals k. So actually, if I subtract 1 from each uh, side here, I've got k times k squared minus 1 minus 1. Uh, that's equal to 0. So k times k squared minus 2 equals 0, so k, k minus root 2, uh, k plus root 2, using the difference of two squares equals 0. So we can see that this has got three solutions, uh, k equals 0, root 2, and minus root 2. And so the answer then must be d, that the function can satisfy this equation for three distinct values of k. So the rest of these video, the rest of these questions I'm putting into a playlist, so watch out for the rest and have a look at any that you're stuck on.